Hello world, my name is Ross, and this is my implementation of CS50W's second PSET, Wiki. To kick things off, we start a development web server on a local machine using the terminal. This brings us to the site's index page. In terms of design, the site uses Bootstrap and a little custom CSS. All pages have a sidebar on the left with a custom logo, a search bar, and hyperlinks to a few options we'll come back to in a moment. The right-hand side of the page displays the site's dynamic content. This page, index.html, lists all of the pages currently in the encyclopedia, each title linking to that entry's page. Let's click on Django, and here we have that entry's web page. Importantly, the content of this page is written in the Markdown language and saved elsewhere in a Markdown file. This page's function converts the content to HTML using the Markdown 2 module, before rendering it as an HTML web page. Now you notice the word Django in the website's URL. If we substitute it, however, for another page, such as CSS, we are taken to its entry. If, however, we try to navigate to a page that doesn't exist, this time we'll try inputting the word Ross to the URL, we receive a very literal 404 page not found notification. So at the moment, my website only has a few entries but imagine there were hundreds or even thousands. To help us navigate more easily, the website has a search bar on the left-hand side. Now, regardless of the capitalization, if a user uh, enters an exact match for the title of an existing entry, they'll be taken to the corresponding page automatically. If, however, a user enters just part of an entry's title, they are taken to a list of all possible hits. So for example, if I enter the letter T, I'm taken to a list of all entries containing that substring, so Git, HTML, and Python. If I am to enter a page that doesn't exist at all, uh, something like SQL, the user receives a notification and also a link to return them back to the site's index page. The website also allows users to create new pages. To do this, I simply click Create New Page in the left column, and I'm taken to the corresponding route with an HTML form with two fields, entry title and entry content. As a demonstration, I now enter the new page's name as test, and I copy across some example markdown text from one of my previous P-sets. When I click save, uh, I receive a notification confirming that this new page has been created, and you'll notice that when I return to the index page, you'll see that the new page has been automatically added to the list of entries. If, however, I return to new page and try to create uh, an entry which already exists, here I re-enter test and, and put some garbage content in, I receive a warning notification, and importantly, the previous page is not overwritten. Now, you will have also noticed that there is an edit button at the top of every entry. If I click this, I am taken to that entry's page which contains a pre-populated web form, the title of which is disabled to prevent me from renaming it. Here I can edit the contents of the form, and when I click Save, I'm directed back to the updated entry, Edits Intact. Finally, my site has a random page functionality in the form of a hyperlink in the sidebar. And surprisingly, when I click this, I'm taken to one of my website's entries at random, made possible using Python's random module. In short, my implementation of Wiki was written in Python using the Django framework. Looking at some of the files from top to bottom, here is my CSS code, my custom logo, all of my different HTML files, the Django URL patterns file, some functions that were provided in the PSET source code, and importantly, my views.py file containing all of my custom functions, index, page, new, edit, random, and search. Below all of this is the markdown files, the contents of which are read and substituted into an HTML page which is rendered by the browser. As always, I'll provide a link to a write-up of this project and to my code in this video's description below. And there we have it, my implementation of PSET2 Wiki. My name is Ross and this is CS50's Web Programming with Python and JavaScript. Bye for now.